So this is our new 4000 HD water brake absorber. It's a dual rotor application uh, using uh, basically Stutzka water brakes. And we've got two of them paired together. The idea behind this dyno though is to sell it into a market that wants to do really powerful engines. 2,000 plus horsepower. So the idea is to give them a brake that they can use without worrying that the brake doesn't have the capacity to run that much torque, that much horsepower through it without that water cavitating inside the brakes. So this is what, this is what the whole concept is behind the 4000 HD. Now, to control this system, you see this funny looking apparatus here. To control this system, we're not using servo valves, traditional servo valves. What we're doing is we're running in water from a, a water pump and we're using a variable frequency drive, a VFD, to control that water pump. So the water pump is being controlled by the Windyne and data acquisition system and it's able to run the water at different rates into the absorber. This is an inlet controlled absorber. So we bring the water in, goes up through here. This apparatus is necessary to be able to drain the brake fast enough. It's kind of a relief valve that allows us to drain it. That's what this funny looking apparatus is for, is to give us a vent to let the absorber drain fast enough. But we're basically just pumping water in with a water pump, a big water pump, pushing it into the brake, and then on the outlet, typical Stutzka outlet, you use variable size orifices for the different horsepower levels. So you put a small orifice in for smaller engines, a larger orifice in for big engines. And so we're able to control this without using any kind of servo valves. That should make it easier to maintain, less parts to the system. You gotta have a water pump anyway, no matter what kind of brake you're using, but without the servo valve, we don't have that to worry about on this system. And it controls reasonably well. Regardless of what brake we use, um, people associate it as a brand of dynamometer, it doesn't matter. We're putting our electronics and our control system on whatever water brake we have out there. And whether your preference is, oh, I want to have a super flow brake. Well, maybe that brake isn't the right one for your application. So we're going to try to put you into a brake that makes the best sense for the engines you're testing. So Stutzka, Superflow, DTS, Frude, Saj, doesn't make any difference. They're all good brakes. It's just a matter of whether or not they fit your application.